podcast, beyond doing is doing your life because this is a reflection of your life. If you put excuses for something as small as this, trust me, you put excuses for your whole future and you play yourself. You started how right now this is the biggest time for a lot of people's lives right now right now most of you guys are just graduating in june so we have high schoolers middle schoolers elementary college right everybody is graduating right and i think that this is one of the hardest things that everybody has to go through because even though it seems like a happy day like you know a lot of us even though we studied that career and we went through you know the struggle of having to pay for school ourselves and having to go to class and study and you know just break yourself while you're working and everything you probably still don't know what you want to do, right? And that's kind of what breaks what breaks all of us in a way, you get me? Because it's like, damn, like, what did I just study so hard for? What did I just go in so much for? And that's what, that, that's kind of what I want to talk about today, you get me? About how it's not, it's not the end of the world. It's not a must right now. It's not a, my life is over or I'm a loser or I don't know what's going on. This is the time right now where you double down on your passion. Uh, exfoliate that energy, that, that gratefulness to other people because, you know, then you start being That's grateful. Sort of yeah, trust me. Uh, because you can, you can, I guess, trust this energy out that can influence other people to feel grateful as well. Because sometimes I need a reminder, like, yo, you, you can't be kind of bratty, Chris. You know, and, and I, just, I need to be held in check. You need to be held in check. People need to be held in check. You know, so this is our, our kind of like encouragement to you guys to check yourself. Like, are you being brownie? Are you being, like, are you being, being complaining too much? Are you not being grateful enough? Because there's always going to be room to, for complaints. But there's also always room for So choose to be grateful instead of complaining. You know, it makes it better for you, it makes it better for others. We should always set the goals Right? Whether your goal is to get there in high school. That's right, for something like that. Or your goal is to get your first car. Or your goal is to buy your first house. Like, you strive for it, you're working hard for that. You know, those practical goals, right, are, are great because they help us aim, they help us focus. You know, we get that kind of, the, what is it called, the horse. The horse, uh, uh, television, 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 right? The horse, the horse, the racing horse. Exactly. So, you know, so they don't look left or right, yeah. focus. So if you always like, you know, I'm working double overtime for my house, for my house, my, it, it gives you fuel mm-hmm. for that whole. You guys are thinking about doing something like this, something different, you know, you're scared or whatever, you'll get to it, just get started. You're gonna realize that you are overwhelmed and way over your head. Mm-hmm. But little by little, man, it's just like, every time we upload, every time we edit, it's just, it's just a little satisfying, uh, I don't know, it's feeling, it's right? feeling yeah. exciting that, Yo, I'm living out my dream, you know, and our dream is not to be YouTube famous, it's just to, to inspire people. To be accountable and to be dependable. I like that. Accountable and dependable. Because, you know, and, and the reason I say those broad terms is because you gotta decide in your field, like, who you gotta be accountable to, who you gotta be dependable to, and like, you know, what kind of responsibility. Because as men, you know, as young adults or youth or whatever stage of your life, right, you know, one of the things we struggle with is responsibility. Right? Like you might say, oh, I was showing up to work or whatever, but we don't own up to the responsibility or the, the opportunities that we have in our lives, right? You know, I always tell you and you always tell me. It's like one of the biggest things we can do is leave a legacy, right? Like that's my dream, that's my desire. And I think that, that we are in a way, shape or form, we want to leave a legacy. I mean, right? at this moment in my life, I realized that I'm not moved by law. You know, but I'm always proud to be a lawyer with the idea of public. And I realized I don't need Encouraged. And so, you know, if people were so encouraged, I was gift with the words. And I was like, dude, I have an accent. You know? And, and so I realized lately that, you know, the thing that moves the most is reminding other people who they're best. Uh, you know? But I do feel like, like uh, I tend to look at you know, people's lives or, or my own thought of how I saw my life was going to play out. And, and I start feeling like insecure about where I'm at. And I start feeling un- like unaccomplished. You know, into a sense of like, you know, like, uh, if we're honest, I kind of like like a failure sometimes. Because yeah. I had like this idea of where I was supposed to be at, you know, and, you know, part of it is society, part of it is my own, like, pride, and part of it is like the expectations of other people. When well, you start putting yourself in a place where you thought you should be at this moment. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I should have this kind of achievements. I shouldn't be struggling with these things. Like, you know, those kind of things, I was like, you know, like, I should be broke. Like, I used to really, I used to think, by 25, I was gonna be married. Yeah. And like married, and I met like married like for like a career, like 
that kind of thing. Right, like, so, you know, that's our thing. It's like, that's next year. Like, realistically, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, oh, shit, that's what I'm trying to get at. No, what I'm trying to get at is, look, man, let's cut the shit out, right? And let's just get uh, plain, plain as we can, right? Um, we need to start being transparent with how we're really communicating these things to ourselves. Not to people, but just to ourselves, right? Because I feel like we put up too many obstacles in our own way. Mm -hmm. You get me? Before we actually start something, right? We yeah. kind of are so afraid to fail that we never try. Yeah. You get me? Uh, you know, you gotta learn to fail forward. Which meaning like, you know, if you fail and you learn, it wasn't a failure. You're moving up, you're moving forward. You're no yeah. longer where you used to be because now at least you know this didn't work out. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and, and then you choose, yeah. you choose to like learn. And, and the other that. thing is um, that I was saying is, you know, we shouldn't compare, right? Because everybody has different stories. But uh, we shouldn't compare, compare harvest, like the result. But we should compare hustle. I don't have a, you know, Chris is like the straight A student. I'm literally the DNF student. But you know, Chris has things that make him special, that make him, you know, a unique human being to be able to influence a certain group of people or a multitude of people, whatever. And George has a certain, you know, set of skills or whatever, you get me, that could be used to influence this other group, you get me? And, and you know, we all have something, you get me? Yeah, so stop so, sorry for somebody else's stuff. What's in you? My last thought would be at two points. One is, you know, life was never meant to be about striving. It was about to be overcoming, right? Striving is just, I'm just trying to get by. Overcoming is, there's a challenge, you know, whatever's within me can be better out through this challenge. And the second thing I would say to you, you know, there's, there's a Bible verse that I love, I love, love. It says, do not despise small beginnings. Do not despise, because a lot of us, we hate the beginning because it doesn't have the right setup, it doesn't have the right amount of the bank, it doesn't have the right relationship, the right moment, the right place, the right time, the right this. Don't despise that because that is what's going to make your story so much more impactful. Because there's certain scars, there's certain stuff, there's certain things you've gone through that will only intensify the success later. You get me? So don't despise where you are now. Just look at it as a launching pad to where you're going next.